A winter storm is affecting parts of the US Midwest with experts suggesting more areas could soon be affected. On the western side of the country, Californian residents are being warned to be mindful of strong winds as severe weather moves across the state. A powerful winter storm is moving away from the US on Thursday after bringing several inches of snow to the Midwest. For much of the Northeast, a few flurries didn't break the region's snow drought. In New York, heavy rain fell across much of the city on Wednesday. Forecasters say the last time the city saw any measurable snow was more than 300 days ago. Here in Massachusetts, the break in winter weather has been a relief for plow drivers who worked around the clock during back-to-back -back storms. When you have an inch or two or three inches that lasts over 24, 27 hours, it's physically as challenging as it is, you know, an eight-inch storm over 10 hours. You still have to be awake. You still have to be managing the storm. So that can wear on everybody pretty quickly. But it was a different story in the Midwest and Central Plains, where crews are still out clearing streets. People say the slushy consistency was perfect for snowballs and sledding. We've been waiting and waiting. So we have our big hill behind us here that's open for sledding. And so we can't wait to get folks out here on their sleds or on our tubes to have some winter fun. The system was part of a massive line of storms that moved through the U.S. this week. Across the Southwest, they spun powerful tornadoes, including this EF3 in Pasadena, Texas. The twister left behind extensive damage. All of a sudden here, wind tunnel, train sound, roof caving in everywhere, water pouring in the house. Meanwhile, forecasters expect another round of snow on Friday to hit the Midwest.